Hey! Hello everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to my new vlog. In today's vlog I want to talk a little bit about haters and people who hate on you uh, and people who tell you bad stuff, uh, throw bad words at you, talk shit behind your back and stuff like that and uh, how to deal with that. Uh, this video is more like for teenagers while I'm still technically a teenager because in next two days I'll turn 19 but yeah I mean for those younger teenagers like 15 16 years and even for some adults because I seen some adults uh, having a problem with this uh, not knowing how to deal with those kind of people they they still didn't kind of grow up in that part so yeah this is just a video where I share my opinion and advice on what you should do in those situations and uh, the reason of why I'm making this uh, video is because uh, lately I've been getting a lot of uh, hate uh, comments uh, on my ask.fm uh, Those are really not a questions, those were just some randomly typed uh, stuff by some anonymous people uh, that were telling me some really bad stuff And I'm also making this video because uh, I got uh, questioned lately a lot like How do you remain so calm in those situations when people are telling you all these bad stuff and like what should I do can you give me some advice uh, I got a few of those questions and I decided like to make a video about this because I said I'm gonna also make vlogs on this channel uh, because that's also part of my life and uh, I wanna put it on this channel so why not uh, share some uh, some of my experience and give you some advices on what you should do so yeah here we go you know you maybe don't know, but I was bullied in primary school like all eight years, all eight grades. I, I was bullied all possible ways, like I was cyber bullied, physically bullied, mentally bullied. Like they were bullying me all possible ways they could bully me. Like it was worst case scenario, really. And you know, my mom would often tell me just when they're telling me bad stuff that I should ignore it. And believe it or not, but that's really true. <laughs> All right, you might ask yourself right now, I should ignore it? No, I, I'm, I'm never gonna ignore that. I can't, I just can't ignore that. I, I can't. When somebody tells me something bad, I have to tell them something bad as well. Well, my dear friend, that's, uh, that's a big mistake. I used to be like that when, when I was like 15, 16. I used to be that like a little kid that whenever somebody would tell me something I would immediately get cocky and like I would fire back at them and when they tell me something bad I would strike them back like that roast and shit you know that's just that's just what you sh should definitely avoid that's that's like putting uh, more gas on a fire you know you're just gonna make it even worse just don't do it Worst case scenario, you start physically fighting with that person. That's just that's just the worst case scenario that can happen. Don't do that. That's completely wrong. And believe it or not, when your mom told you to ignore these uh, these people who are telling you bad things, uh, that's actually true. Believe it or not, that's true. Uh, when you grow up a little bit more later, you'll see that your mom is actually right. Uh, she always been right uh, because uh, when you ignore that person that's telling you these bad things uh, then you actually piss that person off more than just firing back at them and getting triggered you know that's actually what they want they want you to get hurt by their words and their opinions uh, they want you to feel down because they told you something bad that's the effect they want to get but if you ignore that and if you like uh, just say all right I, I, don't, I really don't give a shit man <laughs> and you just laugh at it trust me that that's gonna piss off that person more than anything in the world uh, I personally have one special group of people in my town and they really love to make fun of me every time I walk uh, next to them on the street they always uh, talk shit behind my back, uh, scream my YouTube, my old YouTube nickname uh, at me and make fun of it and I just ignore it. I just move on and I, I don't really give a shit about, uh, about that. Like, 
I even had people, not once but many times, sending me screenshots from uh, different Facebook group chats where again this special group of people gathers around and makes fun of me, makes uh, memes about me, makes fun of my videos, uh, fun of what I do in life or whatever. And what I always tell to these people who send me those screenshots is thank you, thank you for being a good person and letting me know what are they talking about me. But in the same time, I just really don't see point of you sending me this because I don't give a shit about what are they talking about me and I got like zero fucks to give. So if I remain constantly main topic of, of your conversations, guys, haters, then all I gotta say is I really feel sorry for you. I just don't know what else to say. Like if I'm constantly the like main topic of your conversation and you can't find anything else to talk about uh, else than me then I really really feel sorry for you and I'm also saying this just to let you know that there is always someone who is gonna take a screenshot and send me that so I'm always gonna see what are you talking about me or whatever but again I just don't give a shit I don't even look at these screenshots most of the time sometimes I just go from my curiosity and take a look at them and I realized that there is even some people that I know personally and I even know where they live but again I don't give a shit or whatever just if you wanna keep doing it keep doing it I'll just keep giving zero fucks for it so I don't know I don't know what else to say to you guys just I feel sorry for you and <laughs> I don't give a shit and there is only few possible options why people do that uh, like if you don't know that person at all like I don't know these guys at all like I don't even know who these people are I don't even know their names I see them for the first time in my life and they are like instantly hating on me they like don't know anything about me or whatever and they just go and hate on me and tell me all this bad shit like really there is just few possible options you know that person either uh, hates you because uh, it's jealous on you or either because you're better than them or uh, because uh, they want your attention and fourth option can be they just simply have mental issues with themselves they are not uh, really healthy uh, people and they are mentally ill a little bit I, I mean it sounds bad when I say this but like if you didn't do anything to that person like what reason could be for that like you're either jealous or I'm better than you or you hate me because uh, you want attention you just want to get at my attention that way or you just simply have problems with yourself like there is no other option like why would you go and say something like that to person that you never even talk to like ever in your entire in your entire life and you like see that person for the first time in your life and you just go provoke that person like there is really no logical explanation why would anyone do that so whenever that happens just ignore that person it's just not worth of your time it's not worth of your energy just keep moving on just fuck it you know they just they're just gonna get pissed if you ignore them ignorance Trust me, ignorance is just the best weapon against uh, these kind of people. They, that's actually what they want. They want your attention, they're jealous, you're better than them, or they just have uh, problems with themselves. Like, there is no other option. It's just simple. They're just people who feel less worthy, and they just have to say something bad to you so they can lift themselves up. It's like Animal Kingdom. It's, it's just a domination, you know? They have to say something bad to you so they lift themselves up above you so they can feel like dominant like above you so they they feel powerful they feel like whatever they that, that they can do whatever they want but if you ignore that you, you'll actually see that they they will actually see that they have no effect on you their words and their opinions they they just don't have effect on you and they'll slowly start dropping below you and that's actually it it's it's very simple you just need to ignore that person so that's how I remain calm that's how I uh, do it it's it's not easy you have to train uh, like a lot of times before I remember I couldn't resist telling something bad back to that person or like uh, firing back like getting triggered uh, it took uh, some time for me to get my like mental level 
uh, a little bit up to, to the point where I just don't give a shit at all. Uh, it will take time, uh, so just keep training on that, but that's the best option, that's the best thing you should do when somebody is insulting you with words, telling you something bad, uh, talking shit about you behind your back, just just ignore it, it's, it's not worth it, it's, it's just a waste of time, trust me. But if somebody comes to you and like punches you in the face, then in my opinion I think you should feel like upset, you should feel worried because that person just assaulted you and assault is a crime and crime should be punished so yeah you should absolutely feel uh, upset if somebody punches you uh, no matter where like in your face or whatever if somebody starts like physically assaulting you then you have total right to defend yourself and you should defend yourself um, my advice is just blaze it like start punching the shit out of that person if that person punched you first you, you have total right to defend yourself and that person committed a crime crime should be punished you have a right to defend yourself so if, if someone attacks you uh, physically if, if someone assaults you then yeah you you should totally feel upset that's that's my opinion but uh, when somebody is telling you something bad just ignore them just totally ignore them they're they're not worth of your time so yeah this was also one way video for my haters so if you are watching this guys remember that I don't really have anything against you uh, you're just people like everyone else for me uh, I don't even know anything about you you also don't know anything about me and I think there is really no need uh, for you or for me or for anyone else to do that like I mean honestly if you want to you can keep doing it I, I'll, I'll just keep ignoring you I'll never hate you for that I'll never like uh, get triggered or whatever I just I have really 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 big uh, I don't give a shit mode in my head you just can't believe how much shit I cannot give <laughs> you just you can't go above that you you can't you just can't say that many bad words as I can not give a shit like you'll never go above me like the amount of me not giving a shit is just way above yours and it's always gonna be way above yours I'm totally trained and there is no fucking way you can piss me off by words uh, if you see me roasting somebody on internet or hate comments and stuff that's uh, more of a comedy for me I'm making a little comedy uh, in the comments Sometimes I just go and fire you up just for comedy and few laughs for other people But yeah, I honestly don't have anything against you or anyone who hated on me or whatever Like if you didn't do anything to me uh, Personally, I just got no reason to like hate you or whatever like there is really no need for that Like I don't even know your names. I don't even know anything about you and you also don't know anything more than what you see on YouTube like you are seeing me right now so you got n nothing so trust me you know nothing about me literally you just you just don't know shit about me but alright if you wanna keep talking shit just go ahead it's it's totally what you can do and <laughs> I'll just uh, keep uh, doing what I'm doing and I'll keep uh, keep my myself calm and I just won't give a fuck I have like zero fucks to give guys so <laughs> I don't know what else to say I, I think you got my point I just don't give a fuck you should just ignore those type of people simply it's just for the best <laughs> and that's it that's it for this video if you liked it go ahead and leave a like uh, share comment or subscribe if you want you don't have to if you don't want to uh, also, uh, join my Chris Facebook group, uh, and if you have any questions, uh, leave them on my ask.fm. Links are down below in the description. I love you guys, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next videos. Chris out.